right guys, so what's up, so I'm finally back to today, got a really quick different battle video, I want to do that really quick, of course, got some really good news right here for Global, um, scoop a little bit more, of course, but yeah, we did get some new news right here, um, I, in the last video, I did actually just did it to the, um, so I'm scrolling, I did just do, I do these videos back to back, um, I just did the video for the, um, you know, new, six year leaks stuff like that six year leaks for jp and stuff like that so a little bit weird i felt kind of limited in that video a little bit just skipped up a little bit more because now i'm actually fully comfortable so yeah i'm going to get him hit number one in the app store i know a lot of people don't really talk about this anymore um i like to play these videos because no one again for global when it comes up for jp everybody's like oh yeah jp jp but when it comes up when it comes up for global everybody's like okay Sorry, um, sorry, no, we're, we don't care. But yeah, because no one actually really cares. So yeah, Global DK seven stones, of course. Um, this happens when they always hit one country. And they always usually hit, it's either Luxembourg, um, France. I don't think Canada ever did. Yeah, France, um, I know, I know Luxembourg, France are the two biggest ones. I can't think of anything else, though, honestly, on top of my head right now. I can really not think of anything else when Global hits, like, number one and stuff like that. Um, yeah, okay, they always hit in Luxembourg, yeah, Germany, um, Hong Kong. China, I think, something like China or Hong Kong, either one. Um, again, like, you know, around the world and stuff like that. They always hit number one there. So, yeah, I only got one from one country. I'm going to actually pull up beers and, I think, cooler for Global. Um, SCR Cooler, because he did hit number one. He's the very first non saying to hit number one. Uh, for Global, for JP, it was beers, because his banner was so good back then. Um, and for JP, of course, and for Global, of course, like I said, um, previously. Um... Um, when they hit like, uh, again, when they hit like a country, which is most confirmed with cool, every time they hit one country, they do get seven stones. When we hit another country, we're gonna get another seven stones. It's happened with the 350 million downloads or the worldwide campaign celebration. I think 350 just because it means that I just, I, I like to say it. Um, so yeah, when the 350 events, when they hit and stuff like that, or again, when the worldwide celebration hit and stuff like that, um, Global did, um, let me scoop a little bit more like this. Uh, so Global did, um, um, they got like I know we kept getting like you know more stones every time they hit we hit number one. That was I think we got seven stones for every country. Like I think we had like what I think sixty or thirty. Then we hit thirty. Then we had like sixty one week. We had seventy or another week and stuff like that. Like, they could bind it all up into one. It was like six, five. Again, we got little stones like that because we kept hitting number one and more multiple countries. Again, a lot of people always complain about this all the time. It's like oh why we only get seven stones because you know again global did hit um, again. Um, this happens all the time, guys. It's nothing new, nothing straight like that. Again, every time we hit a country, again, we will be getting um, that many stones. Again, every time we hit a country, we'll get that many stones. Once again, because people never read the news. No one ever freaking reads the news. Every time we get, every time we hit a country, every time we hit a country, every time we get one country, yeah, um, we will get stones for so that many stones for that amount. So yeah, again, we hit Luxembourg, we got seven stones. We hit another country, like China, boom, 14 stones. We hit another country, Hong Kong, um, we hit another, um, I thought I'm We hit, um, another one, Germany, again, on like, what, like 24 stones, etc., etc. We get more stones every time we hit a country. Um, I know a lot of people go like, oh yeah, why are you showing up JP stuff? Because I actually did, I did do a video for it, this one came up for JP. Never uploaded it, because I just, again, time and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, again, um, like I said, that really because of time. And, um, just, again, like, like I said time and stuff like that um again i think that around the time my internet went out so i had to unfortunately you know um i had to, um that video again like some of these videos got delayed back canceled and stuff like that so unfortunately I had to do that of course but yeah like i said um this is where jp rewards it's again they only got 30 stones you know physical orbs grand guys again all this stuff stuff again because everybody loved these guys when they first came out for jp they are really i meant to pull them up oh it's afraid to pull the units they are actually really good it's just that when you get there um when you specifically for them um, you, I'm, I'm sure Bojack didn't hit number one because his banner was actually really solid. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know it's coming upcoming days. I'll say that like the next week. Oh yeah, Bojack hit number one. Woohoo! But yeah, um, like I said though, um, again, a lot of people always compare Goku with JP again. JP just one country. Like when Kid Goku came out, I know when Kid Goku came out, he hit number one like really fast. I know, go, I know JP hit, like, for Super Saiyan 2, Angel Vegeta, the physical one from the Dallas celebration. He hit number one pretty, he hit number one a couple of days. Then, you know, like, I think, like, a couple of days, five, I think, like, a week later, Gobo hit number one. Again, they always tend to say that type of thing for the new week, you know, Monday or something like that, Tuesday. Tuesday, I even want to go with it and stuff like that, of course. Um, I'm not sweating, I have lotion on, so I guess that's just coming off and stuff like that, I guess. Yeah, my makeup's running, guys. Makeup's running. But, of course, um... I said, I'll be right back. I didn't actually need to up my laptop. I'll be right back. Um, okay, I'm back though. I had to plug up my laptop because I didn't realize I plugged it up before, you know, recording and stuff like that. I can just go for a little bit more. Um, I actually, um, meant to plug it up before recording and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, like I said though, um, but yeah, um, like I completely said, um, 
And I love uh, people because are, are always gonna complain like Gobo got this, Gobo got that, JP did I mean JP got this, JP got, got that, Gobo didn't get it. But overall though we do get a lot more better benefits than JP for the discounts. Um again, like you know, less stones and stuff like that. I mean I have more stones a little bit here, not really more, but you know, Gobo gets like maybe a little bit more than JP. And Gobo should treat way better than JP. Like at, at the end of the day, it really is. You gotta just admit that. Like you really have to admit that. At the end of the day it's just really like just you know JP and stuff like that, kind of in a nutshell though. But yeah, again. I thought that's how it's always been showcased stuff like that, you know, you know, global, you know, moves really fast, we all think we're gonna catch up, sorry, um, sorry, we're not gonna catch up, we're gonna keep the game separate. Because again, at this point, I really don't feel like the games can catch up, I feel like they could. A lot of people really want the anniversary to happen at the same time. That honestly would really, be really good, you know, JP, you know, I mean, at the same time, you know, Global came out with this, JP came out with that again. Um, that's how it's been structured for years and stuff like that, you know, Global and JP never get celebrated stuff at the same time. Because after, after the, like, the anniversary, we have the download celebration, and JP always has time to kind of cool off, Global oh, doesn't. It's like, okay, a couple more weeks later, we're going to have the download celebration again, so. Fortunately, sorry guys, here's your stones. Um, here's a couple little bit stones in your box. Have fun! But yeah, um, again, little stuff like that. Um, again, though, like I said, um, again, though, Gobo and JP, again, they're always gonna be treated differently with each other and stuff like that. You know, Gobo's gonna have discounts that JP doesn't. This physical Goku Black, yes, I said it, is gonna be better on Gobo than he is on JP from his JP counterpart. Again, Angel Cell and, um, Angel Tech Golden, Angel Tech Golden Breeze and Angel Cell, AGL Cell are gonna be better on, I guess, JP than Gobo, you know, their sets, stuff like that are gonna be different. Um, you know, they're gonna change typings and stuff like that. This is nothing new, guys. He does every year. It's nothing really new like that. But yeah, like I said, Kalkin Blue Goku actually pulled him up during the break a little bit, so yeah. I'm gonna say back in editing phase, but yeah, doing a little bit of a break if you can pause or whatever. Um, Kalkin Blue Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, they are actually amazing. I have used them myself. I have voted myself, but I've used them myself. I can kind of agree though that, um, they are kind of gimmicky with a key because again, they're not having that many key links and stuff like that because just their key and stuff like that is completely different. There's gonna be a lot of good categories again. Universal's of, Universal's of Bible Saga, um, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, and Full Power are all amazing now. But are, you know, always been really good. Um, uh, Resident Evil Universe 7 is probably the biggest one because in that category it just it sucked. Like it really sucked. I know Global got I know Gobo just got the new boo, like AGL boo, skinny boo that guy's awakening. Um we got um these guys on the category, you guys T War. You can't actually use their T War. You can't really use the SSR sadly, because their card is awesome. Like all the card all the way through is awesome. But yeah. Again though, um when they get passive when they get the active skill, they're gonna be they're probably really good most for our attack, but at the same time it's kinda bad because of course, you know, um Yet you um your defense goes go down, but that just really doesn't really matter though, because you're gonna kinda tank stuff either way. Either way. And essentially I call them El Khalif Kel Khalifa on crack. They're a El Khal Khalifa and they were a Doug Defense unit. If El Khal Khalifa were a Doug Defense unit nowadays, they, if they released nowadays, they would have been disgusting still. I mean they probably would have been better when they came out. When they were when they first came out, they were insane. But yeah, like I said though, um previously, um Again, having the crit chance is good, launching additional super um, launching additional super attacks and stuff like that is good as well. Again, you want to go full crit for this guy, or I would say full additional, but again, they already have full they already have additional rushing to their passive, so go full crit for these guys no matter what. Because that's when you're gonna maximize the damage output a little bit more than um, you know, then you actually, you know, gain yourself and your more additional attack. If you go full additional, that's kinda of stupid because they already have built in additional anyway. I say go full crit, because again, physical crit. I feel like that's kinda of the most the one that pops up because so many physical units do counter, like you know, the new Super for Vegeta that just came out. Out, um, Doug Plus One, um, these guys came just came out for Global again back to back. A lot of people are going to be kind of messed up because you know, that you know, the down celebration at the end of the year is going to have the um, LR guarantee, you know, LR banner. Everybody think it could be four rounds because you know, every year we had like a new round with it. Like, you know, last year we had like two rounds, a couple years, I think maybe I think last year was like three or two rounds and stuff like that. If we did four rounds, there will be a thousand stones and it would not be fun. So, yeah, they are good though. Again, you had to, um, Again, you had to have like really good. You had to have key with these guys, otherwise they're gonna be kind of like dead. Not dead weight, but they are gonna be kind of dead on the team and stuff like that. Um, kind of like a floater though, but you do really want to float them per se, I guess in my opinion. But yeah, um, again, they are really good though, of course. And you can't actually keep the TUR though. They are just as good though, of course. Probably again some of the best LR with the best TUR and um, SSR. Kill Khalifa, this guy, and you have the all in the same tier, but for that, I have like the best SSR TUR and floor. Um. Never has a really, never did you have a really good thought, um, TUR or stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much out there for that, good for that. Again, the all struggle category is bad though. Again, I didn't realize it was that bad for World War. I guess one was a lot better on JP, but again, just stuff like that, of course. And we already know the banner, it does suck. Again, I always kind of pull up the banner for these separate videos. Um, banner overall, it does suck because again, like I've gone over a thousand times, um, 
Krillin, of course, is really good. Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta are amazing. Beerus is amazing. And of course, um, go to Gohan and Go Turn are amazing. You gotta be, again, like, I don't really recommend these type of banners because there's no really good value for it. If you're like a new player, um, all these guys are actually really good. Andrew Blue Freeze is still amazing. Yoga Goku still, he, he has age, but he actually, um, his LR counterparts a lot better. Um, this guy's still solid. My throat is giving out. Holy crap. <clears throat> I actually drink something. Give me a sec. Let me, um, pull up the yellow water, man. That was killing my throat right there. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta is still amazing. And the banner overall isn't that bad if you're like a new player, but if you're like an older player, you have like all these guys. Like for me, I have like, like Goku Rainbow, I have Jiren, I have Evolution Blue Vegeta, I have Turkey Vegeta Rainbow. Again, all these units are going to pull 5,000 times. Again, like you you always are going to see like Transforming Goku and Vegeta nowadays, not even Transforming but Frieza anymore, like that. But still, like overall though, uh, the first four units are good, as the rest of the banner is kind of bad. Again, I don't recommend something on it if you're like a new player, but they are amazing and worth it. But at the same time, it's like, they'll be probably back on a better banner. Speaking of better banner, they'll be back on this banner. I actually need to pull this up a little bit beforehand. They'll be back on this banner for Christmas, because again, last year we all were like, oh yeah, where's the 10? I bought a banner. But yeah, this came back with um, Christmas and stuff like that. This banner actually is a little bit more worth it. I don't say someone on here either. But again, if you're like a new player starting out, it's actually is really good. I actually need to pull up the freaking... Um, um, other banner, um, for the New Year's banner, um, we are gonna get that as well, um, we're gonna get that every year and stuff like that, we'll see that highly at the end of the year, again, we're gonna have, like, two rounds or something like that, I'm probably gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna do, you already know, we're gonna do a video for it and stuff like that, um, oh, spoilers, <laughs> but yeah, um, again, I don't know, I just, like, the, again, I'm gonna actually pull the year, New Year's banner, I, be right back for one time, I'll be right back, okay, I'm back once more, um, like I said though, um, my throat's kind of giving out, so I'll probably end the video soon. But yeah, like I said though, um, this will be the LR Simba banner. Again, first multi is an easy A unit. It's all guaranteed. First multi is an easy A unit. The second one will be a hero or duck face unit. The second one will be a villain one. The last one will be, the fourth one will be a category unit. And the last one will be a guaranteed LR. So you will be getting an LR. Again, we'll have like a certain cutoff point. Again, these you have, usually have been one round. This will probably be like a two round thing. Um, again, the beta overall isn't that bad, honestly, though, because it's filled like a lot of Doker Fetch units. It'll highly be like this again, like it is like almost every year we'll have like new Doker Fetch units open here. I thought Osma Gohan could be on here, not for Global, though. Um, probably Piccolo. Maybe because the current point is Doker Fetch Piccolo, so Global will probably have. Like, if you look at the Down Slow Bishop Banner for the 350, you'll see it on here. I'm not pulling that up again. I'm not. It's a waste of time editing more. But yeah. Like I said, if you're like a new player, if you're starting out in the game, you definitely want to save it for this one because it is a guaranteed LR banner. It's only like, I think, 200 stones, I think, for the first round, I think. I think it's like 100 or something like that. First round, the second round is like 200 or whatever. So yeah, I don't feel like it's going to be like three rounds because that's way too much or four rounds. That's, a lot of people are thinking that. That's way too much, guys. Like, they're not good. They didn't have like a thousand stones. I do, but because I don't summon every banner anymore. Back in the day, I did, but again, like I didn't, though. I was gonna say, right now, it sounds like the Dragon Ball Heroes banner will probably be gone. I was gonna say, if you were, like, last day and stuff like that, like me summoning, um, I was say this banner's really good as well. It has really good value for all these units. They will come back once a year, but again, cause, you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be harder to get every year, because they're not gonna be on every... I feel like Vegito will probably be featured next year. Again, Vegito, Gohan, and Broly, they may all be featured next year, because they might give their like, each next year or the year after. And so like that, so yeah, again, um, I thought it was going to be structured and stuff like that, again, this is every year, but right now is the best time to probably some mentions again. Oh, uh, you have like a lot, because again, heavy guys are going to be unfeatured next year and stuff like that, so I'm just highly telling you that now. Then, of course, you already know L.A. Jones going to have his banner upcoming up for Global. I'm um, probably after Christmas, New Year's, highly. Tills going to have his banner probably, um, later. Um, so this is for Gogeta will probably be, again, like, Global, again, not being, maybe behind is kind of good, though, because you can kind of, kind of, you can kind of see. And again, like, like I say, for JP, the beta testers for Global is like, okay, we're going to probably choose something on it or not, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, um, but I was kind of giving out a little bit, so I want to kind of wrap up here as well. So yeah, um, again, like I said, though, um, again, like, Andrew Lowe's Freeze Banner actually is really good. I probably will highly see this in February, because Beerus came out, I think, no, Beerus came out, like, what, like, almost before the five year anniversary-ish? So we'll probably see him maybe February. I mean, Gogeta could be like, you know, not saying day. They wouldn't do it for the same day. Because that's an ongoing celebration for both Goldberg and JP. I thought Frieza could be on this next. I don't know. Again, like, it's a little bit structured, really. But yeah. Um, again, like I said, it's already going to go a little today. Again, the banner sucks. You want something on it. So go with hit number one and stuff like that. Again, Kyle Gumbo, Goku, and Evolution, Blue Vegeta, they are good, though. But again, and the GR are amazing as well. But I don't say worth, it's worth summoning and stuff like that. I want to say something like the a bottom one that come in a bubble like probably Christmas. So last year was like that. This year, maybe. I don't know. I was going to be saying. I'm going to end the video here. So, guys, I know. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good drinks again, though. What do you guys think? Um, so, yeah. What do you guys think, though? 
How about all this? Hey, number one, out the world, gonna be mad again. It'll be hitting number one for every country. I said 5,000 times, not saying it again. Thoughts giving out. Let's go ahead and end it right here, right now. See ya. See you guys later, though. Again, though, peace out.